Oh. Bike ran out with about 50 k's to go. These herds are quite a wee way apart from each other. You girls all good? So that's this herd all set up. So let's go over to the other herd. Oh. <sighs> Bike ran out with about 50 k's to go. These herds are quite a wee way apart from each other. Ah. So now that these girls are dining on breakfast, I can move on and jump in the tractor to feed out.
Okay, so now that's the afternoon, I'm changing out my winter feeding kit. Oh, 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 oh. For my overalls to do a little bit of workshop work. Dad's been busy fixing up the drill. He's been putting new hoses on it, been tightening up the points, also putting new points on and greasing everything and making sure everything's good to go when it's needed. Me on the other hand, I've been working on this girl. So it's a seven furrow reversible Vogel new plow, semi-mounted wagon, single wagon I should say. This is our plow we do a lot of our cultivation with and when it goes into the ground in the first paddock it needs to be in tip top shape so I've been fixing that up. But things will be a little bit different this season for cultivation. Now we've had our big tractor for a few years now and we've done about two and a half thousand hours. And I've been saying to mum and dad, look, we need another cultivating tractor. This one's ours are getting too far up. So, they crunched some numbers, went through everything, talked to the local dealer, and trade-ins and everything like that, and we've come up with a solution. I think this should be pretty good. Just another couple of remotes on the back, and granddad will be quite proud. Come back with a screaming headache though, I'd say. Well ladies and gentlemen, I've slowly worked my way through this player, checking things over uh, and making sure everything's working as it should and when I came to the front of the player, the situation was pretty bad for this guy that you've just watched me pull out. I'm actually quite surprised at how easily this came out but we do grease this and previous workers have greased this quite bloody well. But, I'll just show you here. See, we've got a big crack down here, which is not too good. Also, a big crack in there as well. And so we've got to grind all of that out, all the way down there, and redo all of this weld. And when I put it back together, I'll probably make up a plate and weld the plate on top of that as well. And I'll do the same for that as well, V it right out, and then just fill it all up with weld, and then make a plate for on top and hopefully I'm quick enough for doing that because I don't want these hydraulics to seep or drop or anything like that because getting it back in may be a wee bit tricky as you can see we've got hydraulics controlling that and then we've got hydraulics controlling this then we've got that hydraulic in there to line back up and it's all got to fit snugly back in there or else it's going to be a real pain to get in there so as you can see in the background there, the sun is starting to go down, so it's time for me to head inside. Anyway guys, cheers for watching. <laughs>